Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. As you can tell by the thumbnail, we got the attachment. It says fuel, but I mean, it's it's just the weed eater attachment. I bought the pole saw attached. I bought the pole saw with the, I guess, power head, I guess you would call it. And then I uh, decided to upgrade to the weed eater part two. I have a four stroke, but you know, it's loud, you gotta deal with all the gas and everything. And I have a few 12 volt batteries. So let's open this up, we'll take a look. I bought some string, they recommended 095. So let's grab some of this, a big old chunk of it. Uh, sometimes I tend to shove a little more than it. they fit. Like the gas one, I have like 125 or something put in there. Barely fits, but it does work. Uh, part number is 49162717. Oh, yeah, I picked up this cool knife. Supposed to be made in Texas. Called True, T R U E. I don't know. I'm a sucker for knives. Ooh, that's pretty sharp. Sucker for knives, so I figure. Why not grab another one? They're all made for right-handed people, though. That's my problem. I end up cutting myself. So we got a piece of cardboard. Uh-oh. I see screws and stuff. There's a... You get a bag with some Loctite nuts and a wrench. Probably for the guard, though, I'd imagine. Yeah, here's the guard. I guess you got to put it together. It comes with a little guard. Kind of like a flexible plasticky rubber. Has your string cutter on it. Then you get your destruction book. That's it in the box. And then the weed eater heads right here. I'll probably run the guard because it keeps a little bit of the crap out of your face. Does have string in it already. Let's see. Looks like it's got the two buttons. Yep, two buttons you push. And is this full string? Uh, so that's good. I'll probably not. I'm probably not gonna just pull it out and replace it. I'll just use it up. Free strings, free string. You know, because nowadays stuff's getting expensive. But I kind of like this this stuff. It has like a multi corner edge. This is a little bit different than what I got. The other stuff I think I have is like some Teflon or something. But let's throw this little guard on real quick. I have no idea how it goes. Oh, there it goes. It goes that way. I'll throw that on. I think it's a little bit quieter option too. <clears throat> I'm not out there running the four stroke. You can blow my eardrums out or anywhere earbuds and stuff but well that's interesting well I give you this it doesn't it only has it on the one end it's just kind of you know it's already just going to chuck that thing anyway it's not like it's really going to be useful for anything else oh we got the guard on it's kind of like a minimalist guard is just to keep mainly I guess just to keep your string you know cut at the right length hmm I notice it's got oh, okay you can like just turn this I guess I have to read into it but it's got these little lines that you can lock to Cool. Right, let's see how she hooks up. This part's eh, it's not too bad. This this may be less than five pounds. Anything about that just kind of goes right together. Got your little line. Click it. Tighten a little wing nut down. Actually, uh, I do have the the this part. It comes with uh. 
you know, little strap harness thing. 12 volt battery is pretty chunky. Then we can get it in here. There we go. It's not bad. I mean, just like all trimmers, the back's going to be a little heavy, but it's not. Two settings, you know, you got your two settings, you got your rabbit and your turtle. Turtle. I'll uh, take over this little spot here. on rabbit Let's see if we can get you set over there we'll put it on turtle slower Not bad, works pretty good. Uh, turtle will probably save your battery a lot more. You know, your rabbit's gonna run you way faster, high RPM, so you're gonna burn your battery faster. But I mean, <clears throat> the saw worm seemed to do pretty decent. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it chopped through the weeds and that crap like that. So if you guys wanna know a follow up, I'm gonna use it a good bit. I have yard to mow in, t in a town. I hate weed eating, but. I'm not aware, like, a, I have that face shield. Just bought a cheap one on Harbor Freight. Because otherwise you get all that grass stuck to your glasses. And it's just pretty annoying. But, uh, I mean, if you want a follow-up video, see how it works. They have a bunch of other attachments. They got a kind of like a rotator tailor cultivator, uh, a sweeper, the hedge trimmers, which I don't really... I got the one hedges there. <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty windy out. I guess it's going to storm. Edge trimmer, stuff like that. I'm not sure what I'd get next because I use the chainsaw and the weed eater probably the most. But I like it. It's not bad. I don't see where you attach your sling to. It might have came with a mount that clips around here and then you can sling it around your shoulder, but I didn't, I didn't hook it up. But I like it because you just, you know, you have to be easy with it. It's an aluminum pole. You don't want to, like, chuck it or... Plus it says you can't put uh, the brush cutter things on there. I think they make a separate one for it because it needs a it needs like a clutch in there in case you hit something hard. It'll just shear off your shear. Probably has a shear pin, I would imagine. But as you can see, that guard cut all that crap. But I guess. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Let me know if you got one. How long you've had it for? If it works pretty good or not. I'm not sure how long the battery lasts. I guess it just depends how you run it. If you're running your turtle or your rabbit. But I got two 12 O's and an 8 O's. So should be able to rotate charge. Pretty decent. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. We got more of the Chinese mini excavator project. We need to... What's the next project? Oh, maybe the fuel tank or... We have a dump trailer we're going to build. So stay tuned.